coach, good day for the goal differential. Yes, yeah, certainly was. Yeah, some um, some good goals, some well worked goals, some good, really good finishes as well. Um, you know, we, we could have had more because we missed some good chances in the first half as well. Juniors missed the header. Um, There's a couple of more with Leal at the far post as well. Nathan could have even got on the score score sheet today. I think we might have uh, stopped the game there if he scores. And talking about the difference between must win and need to win, the last time we chatted chat the group, we talked about this was a need to win for the, the psyche and the mentality of the team. Did it deliver? Yeah, definitely. I mean, listen, I've been pretty consistent with my message that we've not been too far away. Um, you know, we've lost the last the last three previous to this. We could have easily won the, the three of them as well. Um, goals change games, always do. Moments change games, and there's not in this league. What I've found since I've been here, there's you know not much. There's really small margins between winning and losing, um, and that that's why that first goal is so key. Besides, you know, New England being a good opponent to have when you need a game like this. Was there anything else that you thought was key to the, today's performance? Um, I thought they were always going to be a danger on the rest of, on their transitional game, so we had to be good on our our rest defence, and I thought we were. Um, you know, uh, Addy and Privs coming in as well, I thought did really well. You know, deserved the clean sheet. Um, you know, we've been building up with a three, and I just thought it was it was quite easy to bring in Tim on the left hand side, bring in Privs and build up with them three. Um, you know, but when we had the ball. Uh, sorry, when we uh, were against the, the opposition, defend with a four, and I thought Tim was really good at that. Thank you. Cheers. Dean, I know you say that the team was right there for the past um, three matches, but what does a 4 0 win, what does a 4 0 win do for the team's confidence? It will certainly boost the, load, boost the confidence of the players, you know, because, because you know, the enjoyment of playing the game is winning. You know, and winning when you've played works really hard and played really well. I was a little bit offended yesterday. Somebody suggested that we're boring. I'd suggest we've not been any different to when we beat Philadelphia away 2 0. We've not done anything different in training. We've not not worked any difference. Um, you know, sometimes, and I watched the Miami uh, the Miami game against New York City before this, and it was an untidy game. And I said it takes teams a while to to find the rhythm after that break. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the midfield selection today? It's a trio we've only seen one other time. What were you looking for from them and did you see it? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to play offset a little bit because we wanted to overload them in, in midfield. They only play uh, with a two in there. Carlos Gill gets a bit of a, a free, a free ro roaming. He can go and roam anywhere. So if we offset them with Westy, uh, Junior and BB, we felt that we could play, play through their lines especially when we won the ball back. And I think you look at the first goal, that's where that comes from. Um, you know, DD had just, um, Gibral had just played two games on the spin. Uh, Junior had come in and done, done well, I thought, against Orlando when he, when he came on. So, you know, that was what, you know, made me change it. And Pep and Pat had a good connection today, had two goals within a 15 minute span. Is that connection something you've seen growing in training or did it kind of play out in real time today? Yeah, no, it's um, it's been coming. We've been working hard in the final third. Um, we know that's been you know one of our big problems, but we made a lot more forward runs today. Um, you know, I thought Carroll led the line well for the first 60 minutes as well, and he was part of the of that first goal. And uh, but then my message to the subs at half time was to make sure that you're ready to make a difference because you know kicking off a little bit earlier, the heat can you know um, sap some energy from some of the. Let the legs of the lads, and I thought our subs came on and did a really good job today. Yeah, the first 30 minutes seemed like a grind. You know, said you, you didn't get, get one in, but getting that goal before the half, um, what did that do going into halftime? Like, what was the, kind of the, the attitude that you got there? I think what it did, it just solidified the message I was going to give because I thought it would cause them some real big problems. You know, they had the one. They had the one big chance where they passed it across the top of our box and played a ball under. There was a couple of ricochets, and you know, um, Cali's had to make a really good save. Um, but other than that, I felt pretty comfortable when they had the ball. Um, you know, uh, we just needed one of their moments where, you know, uh, I think Leal's had a header at the far post, somebody else had a header at the far post. I thought we started the game really well. 
and you know where uh, it probably needed a goal just to give them that boost. And then you had a uh, free Bronico and Nevada on that left side. They seemed to have a really solid combination, um, and then also bringing in Privet. What was what were you looking for by doing that? I just felt that uh, you know Yede's had a bit of a tough time the last couple of games, um, so just thought I'd give him a breather and put Tim in there. I thought Tim was really solid in there, one tackles and he sees the pass to, to switch play to the other side of the pitch really well. Um, so it just gave me the, the, the option to bring uh, Andrew Pruitt back in who's, you know, and that was always in my head that he would play one of these games this week, um, you know, because three games is in a, in a week's hard at this time of the year. Um, and he came in, didn't put a foot wrong to be fair and, and did really well. So, you know, it was important that, you know, we put him in there to do that. and. You know, we got the job done. Uh, last one, uh, didn't have, have the pack play wider, and we kind of saw that on that, that assist that he had to yell. Is that why you want him to come out? Because it draws so many and it opens things up? It, it's not so much him coming wider, it's just sucking defenders in so we can run him behind. Um, you know, Pat's so dangerous. You look at all his goals and a lot of his chances this year, he's so dangerous running behind. Centre backs don't like running back towards their own goal, and you know. He's super powered, I suppose, is to go and run them that way. Um, you know, and he causes real problems and he took his goal really well as well. You mentioned that, you know, when you drop uh Bod and Carol, you kinda of wanted to see something from them. What what did you see from them today that you liked? A reaction. You know, that's what you want. You want a reaction from the players. Um, you know, there's a few players who've been going through a bit of a tough time and that happens in football, it's a long season. Um, so they're not, you, you, you're after consistency as a head coach, you want consistency for players. I'd much rather have a, a seven out of 10 each week than a, than a five one week and then a nine the next week. You know, you want consistency because you can build on consistency and make it better. And, you know, that's what we've been preaching to the players. Um, we got a reaction, which is what we wanted. You know, Leal scored, um, Pep scored. You know, Kerwin's come off the bench and scored, Patrick's come off the bench and scored, and that could only boost the players now and gave us the reaction we want. Nice. And then, uh, you climb up to six with this win, with uh, four matches left, just how important is it you know, heading into these last four matches with the possibility of, I guess, still trying to make a top four? I didn't know we were seventh, <laughs> in all honesty, so we've moved up a place, okay. I have four games left, you, you know, we've got to win as many as we can, you know, starting next week and now against Miami. Yeah. Coach, um, how does a performance like this with two goal contributions factor into, you know, your assessment of who's the starting striker, Pat or Carol? Um, I've got some good decisions to make, you know, I like that. That's what, you know, um, I thought Carol did well for 60 minutes and then Patrick's come on and done what he than what we asked of him when he came on the pitch. Would Pat have done that if he'd started? We don't know. I mean, you know, we haven't got hindsight, but I like the fact that, that Carroll did well and he's physically looking in a better place. He needs a goal, we know that. Um, and we'll keep working with him to, to get a goal, but it's great to have the competition at the moment. Um, you know, we started with the, the front three and, you know, it could have been others. Kerwin's come off the bench and scored. As I say, Patrick's come off the bench and scored and Yuri's probably Yuri Tavares has been the unlucky one who's who's not played as many minutes as as he probably could have done, you know, given the last three games before the the break where he scored two out of three. Um, we know that you had a pretty intense conversation with the team on Wednesday night. What was your uh, mentality and how were you speaking with them in the lead up to this match? Yeah, yeah I think it, it wasn't a massive conversation after, um, you know, my captain got it in the air a little bit, and um, you know he, he knew he knew it was coming as well. Um, you know I just felt it was a silly moment to to lose our, our emotional control, and we gave a goal away through through that and made it tough for ourselves. And then finally, as you know, a long time English soccer coach and player, is it just more comfortable to play a game in the middle of the day like this? Yeah, did you see me with a cap on? <laughs> I wasn't sure whether it was factor 50 cap or, or sunglasses. Uh, just went with the factor 50 and the cap. Yeah. So yeah. For, for the, listen, you got to remember I'm a redhead as well. So you know it's a little bit tougher. But no, the lads did well today. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.